Question 1. Why does marble rarely contain fossils? Answer. This is because of the way that it is formed. When you have a rock that is formed through metamorphosis then it has been created through heat and pressure acting on other rocks. Fossils are inherently delicate things and therefore precious little would withstand the conditions that are required to create marble and therefore marble hardly ever contains fossils as a direct result of this. Question 2. How were sedimentary rocks created? Answer. Sedimentary rocks have a clue to their origin in the name sediment. They are the products of lots and many dead marine creatures which piled up on the seafloor as they were formed in water. These piled up together over a period and the pressure of them all caused the formation of rock. Question 3. Why did the continents spread apart? Answer. This is due to the heat generated from the Earth's interior and earthquakes. The convection currents deep within the Earth because the movement of the material that sits on top. Question 4. Soils take how many years to form? Answer. There is no answer to this as it varies very much depending on the type of soil you are talking about and the conditions on Earth at the time. In places that are very warm or very wet with fast moving waters for instance then times are quicker than places where very little happens for thousands of years at a time. However, the process is very slow indeed and therefore you would be looking at hundreds of years to produce an inch of soil and 1000 years to get two or more inches. Question 5. Were there supercontinents before Pangaea? Answer. Pangaea is used to describe the state where all the land on Earth was one great big landmass and therefore there was just one notion too which was everything that surrounded that land mass. Therefore, before Pangaea or all the land was linked you are asking whether the land was previously split before it came together. That is possible. We do not know the answer. However, we read about it and current theory suggests that yes there have been breakups and come together forming supercontinents before. Four, though this hardly seems set in stone. Question 6. Which kind of volcano is the most destructive? Answer. Well each type of volcano can be very destructive and if you are talking in human loss of life terms then the answer is any type of volcano that is near dense population. The most destructive type of volcano though that is generally acknowledged as such independent of people is that which is called the stratovolcano. Question 7. What are examples of techno-fossils? Answer. In which case I guess that you might be referring to things such as nuclear waste and other waste products of our recent systems for instance rubbish dumps and similar. We have also fired some artifacts into space for instance on spacecraft that aliens might sometime come across we have given a glimpse or snapshot of our lives at a particular time in history. Question 8. Which carbonate mineral reacts readily with cool dilute hydrochloric acid to produce visible bubbles of carbon dioxide gas? Answer. Many carbonate minerals will do this. However since this is a chemistry homework question, I'm guessing for GCSE then almost certainly the answer they are looking for is calcium carbonate because this equation often needs to be learned and then perhaps balanced in an exam question. Question 9. Where would you expect to find the oldest basalt on the floor of the Atlantic Ocean? Answer. The oldest sea floor in the Atlantic that is made of basalt is to be found closest to the continents. The further into the ocean away from land that you go, the newer the sea floor. This is because new sea floor is still being added in the middle of the ocean and therefore the banding and age of the rocks gets increasingly older the further you move from the center of the ocean. Question 10. What does a geologist do on a typical day? Answer. One in academia for instance will spend the day doing research and writing papers and lecturing. Others will be involved in practical work in the field examining rocks and structures and making deductions about age and formation and so on. Question 11. What are the three major types of rocks? Answer. The three types of rocks are as follows. Igneous. From volcanoes etc. Sedimentary. Dead sea creatures. Time and pressure. Metamorphic. Other rock types compressed, squished, heated and geologically stressed in massive temperatures and pressure fairly deep in the earth. Question 12. What ways can igneous rock form? Two ways. Answer. Igneous rocks got to that stage of your geography or chemistry class already? Well here is a little information for you on the ways in which igneous rocks can form. Igneous rocks are created when melted material crystallizes. For example from magma. There are two formation methods. The first is that they form on the surface and these are called extrusive igneous rocks. Or they can form inside the crust and these ones are called intrusive igneous rocks. 
Question 13. What time period can carbon-14 dates have? Answer. Carbon-14 has a half-life of 5730 years and therefore it can be used to date very accurately a large majority of things, particularly wood and so on. It is only not useful for ancient things where all the carbon-14 will have gone or almost gone and for these there are other isotopes of other elements that can be used with a much longer half-life. Question 14. What is a hypothesis? Answer. A hypothesis is a postulation as to what could be the case. It is a suggestion as to something that accurately models and explains some aspect in reality. Then the hypothesis can be tested by getting it to make a prediction. Then performing the actual experiment it predicts the outcome of and see if the outcome matches the prediction. The more experiments in practice the hypothesis can model and explain the better it is seen to be. Question 15. What minerals attract lightning? Answer. All structures and things that are metal attract lightning. Also trees do. In fact, anything that is metallic containing mineral may seem to attract the lightning. For instance, things like iron.